Hello everyone and welcome to your sixth uh Roblox game development tutorial. And in this tutorial <laughs> sorry, my headset wire got snagged on something. And in this tutorial, we are going to continue building and um it's gonna it's gonna be fun. So what are we going to uh build today? Well, we're going to start learning how you can put bricks together in kind of smaller increments than these huge things. And we're just going to learn how much you can do. With, oh, everything that's in your imagination can basically be done on Roblox in their 3D uh, thing. So here, let's get started. Uh, shall we? Yes, we shall, in fact. Ho ho ha. Alright. So we're going to go up here and we're going to grab our resize tool. And we're actually going to drag this brick over here. Now let's say you wanted to make a small little house, okay? Well, there's several ways you could do this. In fact, any way you want is possible. But I'm going to show you two ways, and then there's also more uh, that I might show you later on. But these are two ways. Okay, so first step, you can make this about one stud wide. And that's a good enough length. You can keep it there, and then you can copy it. You can paste it. Um, you can drag this over here. You can find out. You can align it perfectly like it is right now. Then you can use. Oh, I sorry. So, I sorry. I'm sorry. You click move on axis. You can click here, drag it, move it down, copy and paste it again, move it. Tilt it, scroll down, and move it this way, copy and paste it, move it, bring it down, bring it through, and now you can resize it, go to the resize tool, you can resize it to be just a bit better, resizing, yeah, resize like a boss. Resizing like a bows. Resizing like a resizing like a resizing like a bows. Cause that was bossy. Alright. So now you got this, and if you want a roof, you just copy paste. Make it really short if you want. Remember, this is just a basic house. This isn't some fancy thing. We'll get into fancy stuff later. And now you've got a nice square house. You guys could probably figure out how you would do that. But there you go. Now if you zoom in, you can go in here, and you need a door though, don't you? Why, well, yeah, of course you do. Well, if you want to, you can resize it and have a not-so-perfectly-placed door, but I like perfectly-placed doors, so I'm going to go over here. I'm going to make the brick color blue. I'm going to find the width, and I'm going to re reduce it to 10, because that's usually a good door size. I'm going to copy it and paste it. Go over here, change its color back to bright red, which is what these... Oh, nope, it isn't bright red. It's really red. I like how really red is actually brighter than bright red. I'm going to resize this. I'm going to see it's not perfect, but I realize I can fix that later, and I'll show you guys how to fix that later. Go up here, use the move tool, because... I can't move it precisely where I want it without it. And now we see a problem. We see this thing is like annoying. It, there's space. Well, if we wanted a door that was actually touching the walls, which we won't have here, but I'll show you. Here's it. You just have to go over here and let me explain something to you guys real quick. When you resize something through the properties over here, the middle of it will stay in the same place unless it has to move because it'll run into something else, in which case it'll just go up, but the X and Z will try to always stay the same. Okay? So all we have to do is go over here and add one, and that half brick in between each side is taken care of. But I'm just going to delete it, and there's our little, our little doorway to our terrible hut. Now, one thing I I want to tell you guys is it's much easier to build if you use a different form factor, or I think it's called form factor. And you guys are probably thinking, what's form factor mean? That that makes no sense. Well, 
I've highlighted every single one. And by the way, you can select more than one thing by either going in here and selecting it or actually just clicking it and holding control. And that lets you select more than one thing. And then all of the properties it has in common with the other ones will show up in here. So we'll go in here and we will find in here, in fact it is form factor, go to form factor and change it to brick. Brick makes it easiest to build. And as you guys can see, these just all went up. Why didn't the roof just go up? Because the roof was already on top, and these were the things having to resize upward. The roof didn't have to resize downward. So we will grab all of these, rather than the roof. Actually, no, we'll have to move the roof up. Then we'll grab this, 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 and this, and we'll move it. Shoot. Don't do what I did and accidentally click on the roof. Move these all down. Grab the roof. Move it down. There's two ways to build a quick little square rectangular building with a door on it. Or door entry way. So we're going to fix it. Or we're going to make another one. Copy and paste this because that'll work just fine. Move it over here we're not going to delete that house go over here go up to the resize tool and we're going to make this house kind of a brick house it'll be smaller than our other one but it should work so we're going to resize this and we're going to make it about four long two wide one tall is fine because that looks like a real brick now all we have to do for the first row by the way, guys, this, this process look, takes much longer, but you might be going for that, like, colonial or um, Elizabethan, I think I, I, I probably mispronounced that, or Elizabethan, like, feel to your game, right? Well, if you are going for that, then this option is probably best for you. If you're going for a more modern feel, this option is probably not the best but now here the here's the fun part now that we've made our first line we are going to put we're going to start on our second but instead of being lined up and going here we're actually going to go right here and only take up half of this brick and half of this brick because if you've ever seen a brick wall you'll know that they go like that so that the edges can kind of actually meld in together so we'll copy and paste and we'll see that we don't actually uh we do still actually put them together. We don't make up for it here. We continue putting them together. And when we get to the end, um, hold on. I'll show you guys. And I'm just going to copy and paste all of these to make my process much quicker. And I'm actually going to go up here and select the drag so that I don't accidentally resize anything like I just did. I'm going to put that there. And I notice I'll have too many, so I'm going to select just one. Move it. Now, some of you might think, oh, look, we're done. That's all we have to do. No, not for a brick house. You have to actually go past there. And that way, it will meld in with the other edge. Now, I'm only going to do one corner of this, and I'm only going to do two bricks tall, because it takes a lot of time. But, if we go over here, and copy. Now, there's several ways to do this we could rotate the brick and I didn't really show you guys how to rotate too much but if we wanted to rotate a brick we can hit R R rotates it as long as we're, it's selected and we're dragging it okay or what we could have done now that's in its original way we could have gone to the resize and just resized it to be the same but sometimes it's huge and ginormous and you don't know its exact size and it's much easier to rotate it I'm going to show you guys why I'm doing this many, many tutorials from now, but it has to do with the C framing. So we're going to slide this in right there. See how that meshes perfectly? Now we're only going to be a couple bricks long here. Maybe one more. Because I really don't want to have too much time taken up. Now, see? If we take up only half of each of these bricks with the second row, it's going to mesh in perfectly again. Now, a lot of you may have known that's how you have to do it to build a brick house, but for those of you, but for those of you that didn't know, 
that's how. So you guys know a couple more building concepts of how to put bricks together to make a structure. Uh, I'm not really sure what I'll title this video, but whatever it is, hopefully it def tells you guys exactly what I just did. So, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Please hit the like or dislike button. Correspond to how you felt about this video, and I'll catch you guys later.